What's going on, people? Tony here hanging out with you today. Sorry about that. Um, maybe let me shut this door quick. Anyway, we're going to be doing some auto body Q&A. Uh, if you guys want to type in the chat, tell me where you're tuning in from. And um, this is the new schedule. We're going to go live on Tuesdays. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> Tuesday nights, um, I believe it is 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Yep, 7 o'clock Central, right? Guys, type in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, and I will... I actually want to so badly get this new video out to you. You've been so busy working on my new membership program um, called Crypto Waters. Not sure if any guys in here that joined Crypto Waters recently last week. Um, that was a successful, successful launch. Um, anyway, guys, we're going live from now on Tuesday evenings for auto body Q&A. Oh, it looks like. The chats are coming in now. Now I'm starting to see everybody. So I, I'm guessing everybody can uh, hear and see me. Let me know. We got um, Joe Barajas, Arizona. We got Florida in the house. Hello, Tony Perez from San Bernardo, California, VIP. Uh, Tony Carlos, Stacy Moore, Smitty Smith, Adam, Patty. Um, I'm assuming you guys can hear me. Um, okay, cool. So hopefully this new time schedule works out. Um, we used to go live on Mondays, but now we're going to go uh, switch it up to Tuesdays at this time. So um, the floor is yours. Whatever you want to talk about, Tony Anderson says, hey, Tony, I'm here. What's going on, Tony Anderson? Um, pretty fun times. And don't worry about my daughter in the background. She's... Uh, Allie girl has special needs and she's always screaming and yelping around, but she's having fun in the trampoline. So hopefully you don't mind those little piercing sounds. Um, but um, let's do some auto body Q&A. You know, I have a video that I've been wanting to get out to you guys for the past couple of weeks, but I've just been so busy building out this brand new membership site um, called Crypto Waters, basically onboarding and teaching people how to get into crypto safely and um, literally just wrapping up the whole membership site during the weekend. And it's looking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Had a nice group of people join us and I'm excited uh, to onboard and, and get these guys into crypto. Super fun times. <clears throat> anyway, this is auto body time, not crypto. So uh, whatever questions you have on auto body, type them in the chat, let me know. And um, we will we will get going here. Um, and I do have a few auto body projects planned out probably, I would say early next year, January or so. few things that I want to be doing, but right now I'm just so busy transitioning uh, a few things and modifying some of the businesses that I have. It's been really busy. I am going to the Philippines this month um, for a month. Pretty cool. Having a little mini vacation for myself. Going to travel to a few parts of the Philippines and, um, you know, explore a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, lacquer primer over epoxy primer. How long to... Oh, let me just post this up. Lacquer primer over epoxy primer. How long to wait to coat over epoxy? So anytime you're using a lacquer over epoxy or a 2K filler primer, you're gonna to wanna to wait till that primer cures. And that's normally about an hour to an hour and a half. Longer the better. So if you can wait two hours or three hours or the next day, that's fine. But rule of thumb, 90 minutes, give or take, for epoxy primer to cure, okay? Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, Jose Perez says, this can work, this can work Better first question, where can I see the video of blending candy color? I seen all VIP courses and I can't see any more new projects since you moved to Hawaii. Um, there are new projects in there. And did I post? Did you did you see this project in VIP? I will double check with my team. 
but this is a candy blend project right here. And also for the one wheel, we did a candy blend project. So there should be two videos, two series in VIP with candy blending. Uh, we're also going to be doing candy blending, I believe, on the Tesla here next year. So it's a we, it's a 2020 Tesla. I believe it's 2020. We're going to be doing a candy paint job, blend paint job on that. I figured two years old now, maybe it's time to, to do something. But double check it, Jose Perez. Um, yeah, double check it. I'm going to take note of that, and I will check it as well when I have time. Candy and VIP. Okay. Um, and the van project is should be uploaded. I will double check on this for you guys. Okay. Jose Perez, double check it. And I will also double check it. But we do have two completed projects here. It should be, it's got to be in VIP. I remember putting it in there. So um, just double check that. Stacy Moore says, how long should I wait after base coat to color sand and buff my roll pan? Uh, longer, the better. Okay. So if you're doing a customer job in a body shop, a lot of these jobs got to go in and out, right? So, you know, with most clear coats nowadays, you can color sand and buff the next day. Okay. But that doesn't mean that the paint completely cured. You can still let it cure a week or two weeks and still, you know, have time and, and you know, have it, give it the time it needs to properly cure. So I would say two, three weeks, if you're not in a rush, longer, the better um, to color sand and buff. But if you have to buff it, you know, the day or two afterwards, after painting, then you could absolutely do that. Um, Cletus Bloom says, Cletus, <laughs> Good news. I finally painted my car. Messed, I messed up. Didn't check my new compressor setup for water. Uh, even with two inline filters, couldn't get it to stop misting water while painting. Should I sand and clear? Um, should you sand and clear? So did you stop on the base coat stage? Does that mean you, you didn't get to clear coating? Um, yeah. And make sure to drain your tank before painting, okay? And maybe in the middle of painting, depending on your air compressor size. So if you're running a very small air compressor, like a 30 gallon, 33 gallon or something like that, and you're kind of, you know, it's on a lot, building a lot of condensation, you're gonna wanna drain it multiple times. But a bigger 60 gallon like mine, you really don't have to drain it. Uh, I've painted my complete full van in here with this thing. I painted a BMW in here, um, complete with no draining, you know, pretty much just draining it right before I start. And then, you know, afterwards for the next job. Um, did you have your little insurance filter at the end of your gun? Like I always like to have a little insurance filter I don't want to disconnect right now because I have this mic set up here. <clears throat> Not sure if it's going to make a difference, but I don't want to unplug and then have an issue. But I do have, hold on one second. <clears throat> so this is actually great insurance to have these little filters here. It's a water filter at the end of your, you know, at the end of your gun here. Um, you could use them for 15 to 20 paint jobs. Okay. Maybe 10 completes, um, 15, 20, you know, half touch-ups or whatever. They last a long time for six or seven bucks, whatever they, they cost nowadays, super great little water filter insurance piece right here. Super, super good. Um, so, you know, you drain your tank, you have your, your filter on the wall or near, you know, off of your tank, 15 feet, 10 feet, give or take, you make sure all that is drained and clean. And then you got this last minute. So as long as you have that, you should be good. Uh, maybe it was a little, maybe it was really cold in your area and that air compressor was getting very hot and you were just building a lot of condensation, you know? 
<clears throat> oh, you said it's single stage. So if it's single stage, you could try to sand and buff it. Try it. Um, depending on how much paint you got on there, you could, if you got like little, little bubbles of water in it, you could try to sand that out and buff it. I would give it a shot. Start with like 1200 grit, see how it's coming out, go down to 1500 grit. You could buff 1500. Um, but then if you feel like you could go a little bit more then go with 2000, then buff that. <clears throat> uh, is Euro clear worth it or just a marketing scheme? I think it's just marketing, you know, Euro, anything Euro or you know, JDM, you know, for Japan, it's, it sounds good in marketing, but you know, I like house of color clears, um, for, for premier clears. I like Deltron PPG clears DuPont makes really good clears. Um, if you're looking for a good, you know, good clear and inexpensive, um, the Acme clear has been really good to me. I've been using that clear a lot and it, there's no dieback in it. It dries glossy and it stays glossy, which is really nice. And about a hundred bucks a kit. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Been getting really good results with that. So, yeah, that's pretty much my go-to clear right now. Um, I epoxy primed my fenders about a year ago. I'm pretty sure you're saying fenders. You put finders, but I'm thinking it's fenders. Um, finish with 320 grit. Should I sand it again? Use Eastwood Roll-On. Absolutely, of course you want to sand it. Um, if you want to sand it, you could get it down. I don't know if you want to paint directly over it. Okay. You could paint directly over it, or you could put a 2K filler primer on top of that. So if you're going to be putting another primer on top of that, right, uh, you could sand it with 320 again, just get it, get it sanded, and then put uh, a 2K filler primer on top of that, sand it with 320, and then finish it off with a 400 dry or wet, and you'd be ready for paint. Hopefully that helps. But if you want to paint over the epoxy, which you can, you can paint right over that, um, finish with 400 grit and then paint over it. <clears throat> I noticed, guys, is this time working out better for you guys? Let me know if this time and day is working out better. Let me know. Type in the chat. Let me know. Um, anyway, I'm just going to put out a couple of links, guys, and then we'll continue with the questions. For all you newbies, how many newbies on here? Any newbies? Just tuning in for the first time, let me know. And then we'll get back to uh, Joel's question here. Newbies tuning in for the first time, type in the chat, type in newbie. Um, but what I want to do for the newbies is give you guys a, a link here where you can get some free auto body and paint training. We'll send you a, a, a full step-by-step -step manual as well as some videos uh, on auto body right there. Um, let's see here. If you guys are looking for great spray guns, check out Zula.com. I got a little fruit fly flying around over here. I'm going to post a link to Zula.com where you can check out these amazing guns. This is the Atom X88 Blue Moon, a little bit dirty. Uh, I've been using this one a lot and I haven't really been doing a good job cleaning it, but it's a great gun. This is the Blue Moon and the Infinity. They're just different colors, uh, the two different versions. Um, and then if you guys are interested, you want to learn how to get into the crypto game and get into these new assets that I'm getting into. Check out this site here, Crypto Waters. And there's a 30 minute video that I put together on a brand new membership site that I just launched. People are loving it so far. I'm not sure if any of those guys are on the stream today, but um, I did invite my auto body audience to, to check that offer out. And I'm really excited to working with this new group of guys uh, getting into crypto. So check that out if you're into crypto. Um, and then if you guys are into basically starting up your own online business, selling physical goods, check out this site. Um, and guys, you know, you, you probably think I'm so busy, but I, I am busy and I, I do all of these things here. You know, I got the crypto thing going. I got I do e-commerce. So like I do a lot of these businesses is why I teach it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense if I don't if I don't do this stuff. Why would I be sharing the information? So anyway, um, Okay, I notice when I paint pearl, sometimes I get a pile of pile sand when putting the mid coat using waterborne. How can I avoid pile sand? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Pile sand? Like I don't get it. Do you mean like dry? Is it dry? Are you talking about like it's spraying dry? If it's spraying on dry, you're you're probably spraying with too high of an air pressure. 
um, or you're not reduced enough. So you might want to reduce down your mid coat a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if you're meaning like a sandy texture. So maybe you want to kind of get back to me on that and let me like help me out a little bit better. Um, okay, let's see. What's up, Gary Burgess? Hold on, guys. I'm trying to find the new questions here. Okay. Tony Anderson says, hey, I finally finished putting that clear coat on my 99 Ford F-150, posted it on Facebook, and got 80 views and 75 likes within one hour. Looks amazing. Thanks for your advice. Awesome, Tony Anderson. Tony, can you share that with me? Share that link with me. I want to see it. Like, I must have missed it. I'm not a Facebook guy, but we do have the Facebook group for VIPs. Uh, to communicate and all, but I'm not really on Facebook. It's just, it just, to me, like when I get on Facebook, it's just so distracting with everybody's life drama. Like I just don't even like to go on it. So <laughs> I'm not really a social, social media guy, but I kind of am, you know what I mean? Uh, don't forget that Honda Civic project waiting in Eva. Patty, why don't we schedule it for 2023 sometime? You were around, but you disappeared for a while. I know, you know, we're all we're all busy doing our things, but stay in contact with me and maybe we could do something. Um, Tony, much better. Yes, yes, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The time is great. Okay, great. Um, I would say the time and date works better. I've missed so many lately. Hello from Florida. What's up, Dennis? Good to see you on. Um, what can be the reason for an Adam X 20 and 27? I believe there's no 29. I think you're saying that X 27 to bubble paint and clear. I'm using plastic cups. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's very hard for me to give you any answer without even looking at what's going on. So it's very hard for me to say, you're going to have to show me what you're doing. Show me a video of how you're mixing your spray gun settings. I need to know all the details to tell you why. I don't know. It could be the guns. It could not be the guns. I doubt it's the guns. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. It's very hard for me to give you an answer without seeing what you're doing exactly. You know, you're just telling me, a whole huge problem, bubble painting and clear and blah, blah in, in a sentence. And you're asking me to solve it. It's very hard. You know, I, I need to know details. So if you want to take the time to send me details and actually show me what's going on, show me what kind of materials you're using, show me how it looks before, show me your prep. You know what I mean? Like I need to see the details. Hard for me to give you an answer like this, Jose. Hope you hope you understand that. <clears throat> um, Aiden says, hey, so sprayed single stage metallic came out bad. I'm going to repaint it. What do you suggest to do 400 wet then respray? I heard it's bad to paint over layers of paint. I mean, it's not bad to paint over layers of paint, but if it's if you're going on three, four or five layers, yeah, it's pretty bad. But if it's like a third layer, it's not that bad. Any more than three layers, I would kind of rethink it, you know, and maybe take it down. So I'm not sure what you got going on there. Um, but, you know, if you're just going to be doing a respray like that, you should be fine. Um, I would let that dry good. It's a single stage. I would let it sit for two weeks. Let that thing dry really well before you start sanding it. Okay. Let it dry really well. Um, then go ahead and you might want to use like a 320 to take out the orange peel, take out the paint texture, flatten it out. And if you're going to be painting with a single stage again, you could paint directly over a 320 or you could even go down to 360. Uh, 400 is a little overkill for single stage because single stage is a very thick paint. You can cover 320 pretty easily. So just FYI. So if I were you, Cut it down with a 320. You could even cheat, go with a 280 if you really want to get down quick. And then finalize with like a 320 to 360. Then, then you could put some new paint on top of it. 
man, I just had a cut on my foot and I scratched it and it hurt. It was like itchy, but. Uh, so hopefully that helps out. Uh, the paint and clear drips from top lid. Okay, so it's the gun. It's the lid. So if the paint and clear is dripping from the lid, it's the lid. So you either, you need a new lid or a trick that I do sometimes if I have a lid that shrinks. If you have a, a paint lid that's, oh, you're talking about, are you talking about the connection between, you said you're using a plastic cup. Okay, so if you're using a plastic cup and you have sometimes a spacing issue, what I like to do is use a little bit of Teflon tape and go over that one time and then it, you should have a good seal because it does happen every once in a while, not just to atom gun for any spray gun. It's, it's the connection here. So what I like to do sometimes I have that issue as well. Like you get a little leak here, Teflon tape around that little, that orifice there, right? That connects into here one or one Teflon tape around it, or you could even go to, it'll give you a snipe, a snug connection over here. You'll be fine. I thought you were talking about a regular um, paint cup lid that goes inside the metal cup. Even that, sometimes those lids shrink over time as you put them in reducers and lacquer thinner and you wash them. Over time, sometimes they, sh they shrink. And what I do sometimes is you could put a piece of masking tape around it and it'll last for a while like that, just with a piece of masking tape. It'll give you a snug fit again. So hopefully that helps. Um, sandy texture. So if you're getting a sandy texture when painting base coat, either you have too thick of a consistency of your base coat or you're spraying with too high of a pressure. All right, so make sure your, cons your consistency is mixed properly. And I show you how to mix paint and, and look at the consistency by the drips. You know, by eyeballing it with drips, I feel like that's so much more accurate looking at it than one to one because sometimes it's it's not enough. Sometimes you need more reducer, even if you're following the mixing ratios on the can. Sometimes you need more reducer. It's a fact. Um, so either you got to reduce your paint a little bit, bring down your air pressure to about 24 to 25 trigger pulled. So you know, trigger pulled, you got your airline hooked up, air is coming out, you're reading your gauge, it's showing 24 to 25 pounds here. That's the pressure you want to be using uh, with base coat. Sometimes less also. Um, I've sprayed base coat with the X88 Adams here, 18 to 20 pounds, and it comes out really nice. So, you know, depending on the gun. But normal guns, you're going to be spraying at 24 to 26 pounds um, with base coat. And then with clear coat, I like to up it up a little bit, 28, you know, 27, 28, maybe 29 PSI, but very rarely, mostly 27, 28 pounds is the, is the, uh, the golden pocket, so to say. Um, so I just answered your question, Smitty Smith. Yo, Smithy, um, did my first custom paint job came out great, but then when I put my badge back on something ate through the paint only one side i'm not sure what you're talking about are you talking about the emblem maybe you put too much emblem adhesive glue on it and when you stuck it on or maybe use two-way tape i'm not sure what you did there bro um it's only when i'm trying to blend the pearl that i get a sandy texture yeah again it's hard for me to tell what you're doing without actually looking at what you're doing so if you guys want to take the time to make a video or show me the next time you do a project film it and then you send it to me then i can help you out so much better it's so hard to to basically answer and, and troubleshoot without seeing what's going on guys i hope you can understand that um, I sure will. I'm going to send it to your email address. Can you give me your email address again? It's Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com, Mr. Anderson. Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, can you create a group or do you already have one on Instagram for VIPs to share videos to get some ideas or feedback? Um, yeah, just tag L-A-B-A-P-V-I-P. Jose, 
If you tag LABAP VIP, Learn Auto Body and Paint, and Learn Auto Body and LABAP VIP, if you tag that and you let me know, then I'll find it. You know what I mean? So that works as well. Um, due to drama, I don't even have Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, it's just ridiculous. <clears throat> so maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta, uh, I will work on that, Jose. But for now, tag LABAP VIP, Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP. Tag that and then also tag Learn Auto Body and Paint on Instagram. And then we could find you super easily with that. Um, Dennis Metz Meston. Are you guys liking this so far? Guys, let me know if you guys are liking this. Hit the thumbs up um, on the live. Let me know. Um, hope, hope this is valuable for you guys. Um, DA sender makes quick work of sending, but is it better to use a straight block or DA? So DA Dennis Messon, I, I am guessing you're not a VIP, right? Just a wild guess. Are you a VIP or not? Because I cover this topic extensively in VIP and also in my other free stuff. So, Hey, don't forget if you guys are newbies, just watching for the first time, please go here and Download yourself a complete A to Z guide on auto body, which is interactive because it'll it'll talk about DA Sanders and then there'll be a link in there in the PDF that'll take you to a video on YouTube or on my blog that talks about each specific topic in detail. So download that, guys, like get on that list. And then there's an actual going to be a special offer for VIP. If you want to join VIP, join it. I think you're going to love it. Um, but again, you can cheat, save time, use a DA, but I always like to finish off by hand. So that's how I do my paint jobs. I like to finish off old school by hand, make sure I'm wet sanding or dry sanding and making sure. I mean, that's the best way to get any custom job done or, you know, a regular paint job done is finishing by hand, body work, everything. But DAs are great. Straight sanders are great to save time, to take the bulk of the body filler off, to get some quick shaping done. But then I love to finish um, by hand. And we cover that step-by-step -step in VIP, like A to Z, guys. What's up, Rich Reese? Hope you're doing well. Got a lot of questions coming in today. Um, do I need to put sealer over primer surfacer if I went down to bare metal, then epoxy, then primer surfacer? No, you don't have to. You could finish primer surfacer. If you're using a 2K filler primer, that's a fantastic foundation to paint over. Okay, so as long as you finish that with a 400 grit, if you're going to be painting basically clear coat, you're fine. But if you're sanding down and you got a couple of metal spots showing or some body filler showing, hey, yeah, you could finish off with a sealer in the booth or in your garage right before you paint. I recommend a, a 1K sealer. Nason has a good cheap 1K sealer. Comes in a can. You don't even have to mix it. You just, well, you do have to stir it up in the can, but you don't have to mix it with um, a reducer or a hardener or anything. It's just, that's it, 1K. You just mix it up in the can, strain it, put it in your cup, and hit hit all those spots, you know, all these spots that are showing a little bit of body filler cutting through or metal spots or whatever. Um, you could even do the whole panel if you want, whatever. But uh, Nason makes a great 1K sealer. Um, I don't have any in stock at the moment. But um, it's pretty much my go-to sealer before putting, you know, you could be painting. You could paint single stage over it, base coat, clear coat, waterborne, whatever. Yes, it was my Harley. And when I stuck it on, it left it for five minutes and it came back and it ate through everything. Man, maybe you should have used like a two-way tape. I don't know what kind of glue you use there, bro. That seemed like a pretty nasty. I used 3M glue adhesive on my tank for the Harley. To put the maybe you put too much, man. Guys, when you when you guys are putting any type of badges back on your vehicle after a paint job, number one, make sure your paint is cured for at least a week. Okay. Uh, number two, you only need to put dots. Like if this was my badge, I would literally put like a couple dots around it and then stick it on because it ain't gonna go anywhere. You know, I've seen some guys like literally like put gobs and gobs. I'm like, God. And then they push it on. Like, I remember I was at this guy's body shop and he had a new kid working for him, putting on badges. I'm like, Oh my God. It's like the timing. I came in there 
and he loaded it and he pushed it on and the glue came outside the badge and it was even worse because it was like a Toyota Tacoma badge, chrome badge, and it it went through the lettering. And like it just it didn't eat up the paint. He was using uh, emblem and adhesive glue. I don't I'm not sure if that's the one you used, but it's a more of a mild glue and it won't eat through the paint. <clears throat> but then like it screwed up the whole thing because there was glue in between the letters and it looked it was like so horrible. And I like I left. I got out of there before my buddy saw what he did to yell at him. You know, it was, it was ridiculous. <clears throat> Tony, you're good. You answered my question. Awesome. <clears throat> Dennis Metzen, you're not a VIP. Hey, go to this site here. Grab that free training. I probably already gave that to you. <laughs> uh, does Zula sell the needle kit for the Atom X27? Yes, they do. Go check it out and check out. Um, I think it's under accessories. Let me see. Accessories. Spray gun rebuild kits. Yep. Spray gun rebuild kits under accessories, guys. You'll see it. <clears throat> um, are you asking me for the best clear for candy paint protection? I would just use a canned, um, a clear coat that has some built-in UV in it. Uh, and a lot of the clear coats nowadays have that Sherman Williams, DuPont, um, PPG, a lot of them already have UV protection, but you can also buy UV additive if you want to put a little extra. The only issue with that is it turns the clear a little bit yellow, but it's not to where it's going to be noticeable on your paint job. It is what it is. Very tint of yellow. Um, Do you have any videos for small spot paint? Yes, I do. We have uh, spot repair and blending, all that stuff, and learn auto body VIP. Guys, check out VIP, guys. If you get this free training, VIP currently right now is only $47 a year, which is like three bucks a month. So if you join VIP only for a year, you're going to get like a whole college degree in auto body. There's over 200 hours of step by step videos across all types of projects. Candies, you know, we show you how to paint complete cars, color change. I'm going to be painting this Chevelle in back of me next year for sure. This is on the to-do list for next year uh, and also the Tesla. So we got two nice, beautiful projects that we're going to be doing next year, and they're going to be added to VIP. <clears throat> um, what size strainer do I recommend? I recommend the standard strainer. I don't even know what size it is, but it's a standard strainer that comes with uh, when you order paint, those little white strainers they give you. Tony, I sent you my video on the 99 Ford. Awesome. 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 Let me see. I think you emailed it to me. Um, I think, did you say you emailed it to me, bro? Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. I did not get it as of yet. Maybe it's pending through the interwebs, but just mail it to Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. I should get it. But as of now, I don't have it, bro. <clears throat> Um, anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for tuning in. We're going to call it a day. We've been on for about 35 minutes today. Um, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be doing all, Learn Auto Body again next week this time. Um, and then, like I said, later during the month, I will be streaming live from the Philippines. So the timing is, is going to be in the morning in Philippines, actually, 9 a.m., it's going to be 9 a.m. in the Philippines, so that should work. I should be around, hopefully, on Tuesday. So let's see. Let's see. I'll be there on the 23rd. So what week is that? Um, let's take a look at my calendar here. Um, 23rd. So, yeah, it'll be the day before. So I leave on the 22nd. Actually, guys, I'm going to be missing YouTube Live on the week of the 22nd. Um, maybe we'll do it on November 21st, Monday for that week. So today's the 8th. We did YouTube live today. We'll do the 15th. And then the week after, maybe we'll do the 21st, which is a Monday. And then the week after, we'll go back on the 29th is when you'll see me in the Philippines. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So again, let me just drop the links here one last time. Here's the link to Zula.com if you're looking for great spray guns. 
um, like the Atom guns that I always use, CryptoWaters.com if you want to learn how to profit with crypto. Check this site out. I got a complete 30-minute video that talks you through uh, the whole thing. Um, here is the link to learn auto body for all you newbies. And guys, if you're watching the replay of this, just check the YouTube description down below for all the links. And then uh, for Ecom Domination, uh, check this page out right here. Um, somebody said, is there a way to blend clear coat for a small repair on a large panel? Um, it depends where on the panel. You know, if you're doing like a, a roof rail, a thin railing area, or the part where your roof blends into the quarter panel, if it's a small area, yeah, you can. But if it's like in the middle of the door, very hard. You're going to pretty much need to clear the whole door to make it look right, you know. So, so the answer is yes and no. It depends. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next Tuesday. Uh, don't forget to like. Comment down below. Talk to you soon. Peace. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Peace out.